Hi everybody, welcome back to Savage Chat. This is the second topic we're going to be talking about. Remember the first one spoke about dating, our ex-husbands, the whole leading up to the marriage. Now we married, okay? Now we're gonna talk about, you know, the wedding, the marriage from our perspective. My name is Percy my guy, and I can't wait to dive in with you guys. And we're gonna really unmask and we're going to really dive in like Taffy normally say dive in deep. Yes. yes? Dive in deep. So deep guys dipper. I know. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be very authentic. Um, we're sharing our story because we know what we went through and we know what we would love to have been done differently. Maybe we would have been in marriages for the <laughs> long run. <laughs> but anyways, we've learned lessons and we're just sharing them with you. And Taffy, stop laughing. Because <laughs> you know what? We <laughs> Listen, it's going to be interesting. Let's take a moment. Let's have a moment. May I'm just thinking about the last episode. I'm just thinking, what? Let's have a moment. It's going to be interesting. Yes. Yes. So guys, welcome the back. lady herself, <laughs> Taffy. Welcome back, everybody. Yes, we are digging deeper. Right now, we're now in the marriage. Like yeah. what Pessy is saying. <laughs> we're in the marriage. We're now in the marriage. For me, my wedding was the best ever. Like I said, if I can rewind back, I could have done things differently. Now that I'm a wedding planner and I do decorations and stuff, I could have done things differently, but never mind. It was a wedding to remember. Yeah. I had my two dresses. I could oh. not wait to get married. I remember yeah. going for shopping with my mom and the sisters. You know, the whole journey to getting married as a bride, the whole thing, the yeah. money, mm -hmm. the, 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 everything, everything, mm -hmm. everything, everyone, every, everyone's eyes is on you, Ooh, especially yeah, on chat. the day. <laughs> it was really amazing. But the question is, was the marriage amazing like the wedding hmm do you know what i love that you said that because i feel like for me it was it wasn't much of like oh my god yeah i had two weddings right we had like one in england and one in zimbabwe <laughs> she had two weddings <laughs> but, uh, i'm joking <laughs> listen like for me i think i got excited mostly on the day right because it was like, all oh, that attention was on me. Of course. And it was, oh my God, you look so pretty. Oh my God, you look so pretty. The makeup is being done. My bridesmaids are around. Everybody's just, Percy, are you okay? Yeah. Do you need to eat? And I was being serviced. And I was like, you were a princess for the day. That what? Oh, this, this is what it feels like. It was amazing. Yeah. So for me, I got excited. I'm like, oh my God. And I put on my dress and I'm like, damn, go, yes, you know, it felt good. Everybody was just loving. Even people that never talked to me in 10 years before. It was that day. Thing. They it's were talking wedding. to me. Yeah. They were even laying down Zambia yeah. for me to walk on. I was yeah. like, ah, wow. You know, like um, um, that, that, that show, um, Coming to America. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Everyone is. Everybody is all over you. Yeah. And I think that's where we need to start on the hype of the wedding mm -hmm. versus the actual reality of the marriage. Mm -hmm. Mate, mate, mate. Huh? For me, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 I could have the experience that I had um, during the wedding in in the marriage, then yeah, we we could, we could we could still be there. You know what I mean? But for me, it was just like okay, it's a wedding. It's it's one of the phases that you go through. Mm -hmm. Rora, then kuperekwa. Mm -hmm. Were you perekwa? Do you know what I did in Zimbabwe? I didn't do the Perequa in England. The two I different things. I did mine in Zim. Did you? <laughs> yes. Did you? Do you know what? We had to sit outside the gate. Mate. Do you know what? And when we finally were allowed, in, when we finally went, because I didn't they have to give the money for yeah, us to come yeah, in. And my yeah. teachers are like, no, yeah. she's not coming in. No, pay up. But I loved Me it. And you're, and you're covered in the Zambias. I loved and it. I, <laughs> this, do you know what? The part I didn't like was when we got into the gate. We sat on the mount, on the grass, and there were ants. <laughs> They were biting me. Then my tete was being so hard-headed, right? So I called my dad because I was under the blanket. I called my dad to say I was what? To like, say, Dad, I mm -mm, no, mm -mm, I'm a dad, so I'm mm -mm, sorry. I did. Mm -mm. I called my. Dad. I was crying. You did. Do it. Come and take me. are eating me. <laughs> they just saying we're not going in until they pay up. <laughs> they paid. They did. They paid. Talk to your sister. <laughs> It's a process. As I talk to you, sister. It's a process. No, you have that to process was it. helpful. Uh -uh. I loved mine. Yes, we were rained on outside. That's fine. They've been, mm -mm. Yeah, that's fine. But listen, I cried. <laughs> but they were not normal ants. They were the red ones. I got yeah, bit. I called my dad. The ones in Zim are a bit like too much. 
But the process, the process is nice. Yeah, it was nice though. Because the, by the funny thing about the pericoring thing, me and my friend, we knew how to look like we were doing work. Right. We're very good actors. Of course, you have to be a good actor yeah. because, come on, you cannot be expected to wake up very early in the morning. Child. As long, even if there's electricity, they yeah. want you to make. Actually, can you explain what Kuperika is for those that may not be from Zimbabwe? Hey, to understand. To understand. Yeah. I'm trying to think how I can actually. It's, it's when the. Your bride, family. Yeah. yeah. The bride is then introduced to the. To, to the whole family, the, the, the man's family, yeah. your husband's family. Yeah. So you're being, your, your tetas, your aunties are taking you to your husband's house. Mm -hmm. So they will leave you there. Mm -hmm. They have to leave mm -hmm. you there. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't there. It's more but like they here. have to leave you the, there. They're saying like, we're bringing now your yes. wife. Yes. There's your wife. Yes. But it's like a ceremonial process. Yes. And they, it's for them to show off that we've, yeah. we've taught our daughter, our, our niece, how to work, how to she can things. cook, she, she can yes. clean. She's a wife. She's, She's a, a wife. ready wife yeah. for your son. For your son. So this is why in the, in the first day, obviously, yeah. they have to pay money for you to get into the, mm -hmm. into the compound mm -hmm. or whatever. And then the second day, this is when you show off your Murora skills. Mm -hmm. You wake up very early in the morning. Five in the morning. Yeah. Oh. Fire is it? Ma by the way, you slept late last night. Let's not forget that. Yeah, cooking. It, the, the first night, no. The fir no. For me, my first night was party. No, yeah. They were happy that Moroda is coming. We did a braai later, but we yeah. cooked. We slept quite late. Uh, cooking. And then my tete is waking me up. Yo, yo, yo. Huh? What? Ah, wake yeah, up. So, so yours was a bit, yeah. I was awake up to what? <laughs> it's five. Yeah. Yes. Go and boil the waters and go in with everybody's got hot water to wash. It doesn't matter. Oh, if but they've got they can hot use water. the water in the. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. You have to go and boil You it. have to show them that you're <laughs> well trained. Well trained. You wake up, you, you boil water for everybody mm -hmm. to bath. If mm -hmm. you're bathing their feet or whatever, you do that. Everything. We had to, ba to buy them soaps and stuff to yes. use and everything else. And then we had to do the dishes from last night. Yeah. We parted too much. We forgot that all, all these All things. the dishes are yours. Yes. Yeah, so we had to do all of that. And then you sweep. And then every time when you sweep, you put the, the, the whatever together. Yeah. Then for you to take it all out and yeah. stuff to throw it away, they yeah. have to put money there. Otherwise, uh -huh. you just leave it there. Yeah. So by the end of the day, I came back home rich, rich her. <laughs> they, they, they do, they do give the monies. The monies is yeah. nice. <laughs> but yes, yeah, it, for me, it was just a process. Did you perk after the wedding or before the wedding? Because I got married here, it was after the wedding. Okay, because I had the second wedding as well as them. So we did, we did the wedding here. And then we were the, the day before the wedding. Oh, uh, okay. We did the perk. Ah, uh, no, mine was after, after yeah. the wedding. Anyway. It was interesting. I had oh, fun. It was good. It was good. It, it was really an experience. I think... I really felt Zimbabwean, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. I felt really connected to yeah. my culture. Yeah. Because that whole, you know, the ceremonial, the, the, yeah. the, the, you know, the, 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 just the whole experience, yeah. the acceptors, the doing the oh, cooking. Yeah. It, it was just like oh, yeah. cooking on the fire. Oh, yeah. Everything, yes. you know, with your tete surrounding. Yeah. It was just a it's moment the for family. me that like, you can never, like, that was just amazing. And I can tell you, your husband will be very proud of you for doing that. Honestly. That was amazing. But obviously, yes, 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 yes. So That's the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> so we did all that and then boom, we're now in the house. Mm -hmm. So my marriage lasted three years. Okay, you did well. Compared <laughs> to me. <laughs> ah. well, but you know yes, what I love that we can laugh about it now. Man, I, I love, love that. It's because I've healed. I That's love why. that. It's because now there was a time where you, you would oh, no. hide, don't even mention your divorce. Oh no. To, but no. now to sit here, like just. <laughs> Mate, it's because I'm healed and myself and the father of my kids, yeah, we are we're fine. fine. Yeah. Like, we're fri we, we, we talk, yeah. anything. It's because we are now fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? But before you would ask me, I would start crying. <laughs> I would just start crying. So when we then got married, um, we're now in the house. Obviously, the first few months, you know, it's. Honeymoon, honeymoon time. So obviously, if you had not had um, talk about sex and everything else, everything you, you you're getting to know, yeah, your partner, your partner, yeah. yeah. A bit so better. imagine for myself, I, as I told you on the last episode, if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it because I'm not going to repeat. But as I said, um, for me, it was I was a church girl, and there were certain things that I couldn't do before mm -hmm. marriage. So talking about sex. It, that was yeah, mm, yeah. I, it. I would cringe yeah. to even talk about it so now imagine i'm getting married and i'm 
I'm not trained. I don't know if I can say that, but it's you're yeah. not experienced in that I'm not sector. Experienced. Um, now they want 40 years experience in jobs. So yeah. for me, I, <laughs> so for me, it was uh, I just fit. I was told, you know, when you then start going to we call it China Jima like okay, a, yeah. a women's a women's group at church. You you're told you have to fit into your husband's shoe, whatnot, whatnot. As in this is your husband so so whatever character that he is i have to fit myself into his. i have to mold myself into his character okay so if there are certain things that he doesn't like and i like it so doesn't matter sexually I, basically I, everything not just everything everything about him so basically i'm there to just mold myself into my husband so me i'm no longer living basically okay whatever my husband says is what that's what, what happens yes hmm. So for me is okay. I, I I I didn't have a template or whatever. That's it. it that, the sex that's there, the marriage is there, the husband is there. Whatever he says, we do or whatever. But then what was then frustrating for me is, um, because I had not gotten to know him better hmm. as a person, his hmm. character and everything else. I didn't know what would how how angry he would become, because we'd never I'd never gotten him angry in any way or at all i'd never seen him angry at all it was always a sweetheart sweetness how can how could was... i have seen him angry when i am told you walk around actually you have to have a third person there i had no time to learn my husband i had no time to learn his character so obviously to him is this is a church girl and what she says goes at that time what i said goes so that he would marry me so for, for my part, that was bad because I never got to know him. Um, I, I wouldn't blame him for that because it was my fault. I never got to know him. Okay. At all. Okay. Looking back, mm -hmm. I never got to know him. Um, so in certain times, like getting him angry or anything. Yeah. I never knew what he'll be like when he's angry or whatever. Or I only knew him when he's smiling at me. We're mm -hmm. all happy and mm -hmm. everything else because we never got... Even living together, we never got to live together. That was not allowed. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was not had no, it's just, off. It just never really happens that way, does no, it? No, no. So I, ne I only got to know him when we got into the house. Wow. So three months down the line, mm -hmm. I then realized that he's a short-tempered man. Short fuse, ready to go. Ready. And when he's short-tempered, he will either use his hands Hallelujah. or his mouth. Oh, I wasn't I wasn't ready for that. Oh. Okay. Three months. Okay, I'm listening. I'm 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 listening. Three months. I'm gonna try and listen. Okay. Forget the wedding. Forget how big the wedding was. Forget how how many people we had. A lot of people. Forget the 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 dress. Forget how beautiful I was looking for my man. I didn't know how he would get when he's angry. Hmm. Over what? petty issues ask me right now what we would what we we argued about you can't even remember no petty issues petty issues because i never got to know i didn't know him so anything little that i would do probably if i had known that these things would make him angry or whatever i would have tried not to make him angry or anything we would have understood each other mm -hmm. he would have understood what the type of person that i am what ticks me off mm -hmm. what makes me happy mm -hmm. but to him as well he didn't know me hmm. I was just a church girl who was trying to, to live up to the church title and everything else. Um, to him, I was just a good to... girl. Mm -hmm. What he says to me is he thought I was a good girl. <laughs> What's a good girl? <laughs> and he was told that if you marry a girl from this church, they listen to their husbands. Not that I wasn't listening. There were things that were happening that I would not agree with. Hmm. Like what you mentioned on the last episode, you, 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 you spoke about um, your non-negotiables. Yeah. I had those, but we never talked about them. Yep. So now, now imagine I'm now trying to tell him, I can't negotiate on this. Who, who do you think you are? I'm a strong African man. Mm. You are my wife. Mm. We do things this way. My way. So I said, fine. So the other thing was, I had to leave work. I had to stop working. I said, no. I've done my degree three, four years. Mm -hmm. I cannot, this is me. I, I'm somebody who's hands on. Mm -hmm. So just staying at home doing mm -hmm. nothing is, I, I, I can't do it. It's not you. No, 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 all. that's not me. Yeah. Um, so I thought, okay, to 
to test this, <laughs> hey, I'll get pregnant. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yes. No. Yes. Wait. We, we said it's real talk. I'm I sorry, know it's but... not. It's real talk. I just need yes, to make sure I understood is, what you said. This is what happened. And you know, this and, is... and, and, you know what? and I applaud you for your honesty because a lot of people don't speak about their truth. No. Thank you for your truth. However, let me digest the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I need to digest the truth. Let's come back. So, you wanted to know him a little bit more, and you say. After the quarrel and the shabam, yeah, let me get pregnant. So myself is, I, I, I was like, okay, let me get pregnant. If I get hmm. pregnant, that means I'm I, I'm on maternity leave, mm -hmm. isn't it? So I'm not going. To I'm work. going to work. I'm at home. So for me, it's I want to test out his theory of I don't have a wife who goes to work. I want okay. a home wife. A home body, basically. Yeah. Yes, you stay home. So. I thought if I got pregnant, I'll be on maternity leave. That means I'll be at home, blah, 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 blah. But obviously I'm still kitchen, getting some money, whatever. Um, so yeah, I took my maternity leave. I was at home, but that was the hardest time hmm. because <clears throat> you know, if you, if you ask for money, yeah, this is money that you've not worked. England is painful when oh, it comes Oh, Lord to, have mercy. To, to doing shifts and stuff. So you, you, you have to, you know, you have to justify why you really, really want this money. You can't just wake up and just say, oh, I need to change the sofas. Oh, I need a new dress. Oh, no, 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 no. You have no, to no. put in a, 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 a proposal. Tafi, you have to understand, I'm waking up every morning. He used to work hard. Yeah. I'm waking up every morning, going to work, and I'm coming back home tired. What do you mean you spend money on this? At, at first, we did not discuss finances, yeah? Spoke so we used last to episode. argue about our finances all the time, to the point that we, we did a joint account, <laughs> then we had to destroy it. <laughs> because apparently, I was spending too much. Wait, this is a lot to take and in. now that I was at home, I was not spending money that I had not worked for. I'm thinking, dude, you say to me, if I don't go to work, you will take care of me. These are the things that I need. If I have money, I will do them. But okay then, fine. So the joint account was destroyed. So we never had a joint account. It was just you do you, you do you. Now you tell me what marriage will last longer with that. You do you, you do you. But where are you getting your money from? Because they're saying you shouldn't work. But I to live. So that's the money you're supposed to live on? Yeah. Oh. So imagine if I had not... Okay, some people might say, okay, I was a bit naive or stupid or whatever. But for me, for me, I was told from church, yeah, if you get married, there's no divorce. You cannot, you cannot divorce. God hates a divorce. Fair enough. Yeah? So for me, I was like, shit, I am stuck. Do you know that feeling of saying, I'm stuck, this is it for me? Do you know this, I, that realization came to me when I realized that I really wanted out, but because I'm a pastor's kid, you're stuck. I can't disappoint my my parents. I can't disappoint the church. I can't disappoint. I was like, this is it. So wait, so this is it. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to say, okay, how do I fit myself in this? And in that moment, I began to deteriorate when I realized that I'm stuck stuck is the word and it's painful it's a painful reality because you're there saying i know this is not what i, I know i signed up for it yes I, no i didn't sign I, up I, for this no, no 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 i know i signed up for the marriage yeah. i know i walked on the aisle yeah. i know we 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 we, we enjoyed the day i yeah. know that i i, I signed the paper to say yes i'm married yeah. yeah but i didn't know that this is what marriage was <laughs> Like, I didn't know. Oh. I knew what a wedding was. I've been to weddings. I've been, I've, I've seen brides. I knew what a bride was. I knew what a wedding was. But I didn't know this what, is what marriage is. Yeah. So now I'm in the marriage. How do I, like, get me right. I, 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 I've had such a great example of marriage from my mom and dad. They've been married for 31 years, yeah. right? Yeah. I've seen that. And that's what I've always wanted. So for me, in that, coming from a family that, <laughs> no, I don't know any divorces in my yeah. family. My uncles are still married yeah. to their wife. Yeah. I don't know any divorces yeah. in my family. And I'm there thinking of divorce. Yeah. Looking at the example that I have. And I say, Percy, how dare you? Yeah. You can't come out. Stick it out, girl. You can't come out. 
figure it out. Yeah. And I said, fine, I'm going to figure it out. And I'm trying to figure it out, but at the same time as figuring it out, I, I was losing myself. I was losing... I just had my, the reliant of person, what I want to do with life, left me. And I, I, I started to sink into depression. I started to sink into oh. I said, anxiety. I'm like, how do I... And I, I knew, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman who knows how to smile. I would wear so my would smile. I would that. wear my mask. And people outside would be like, she, she's fine. But nobody was seeing beyond the smile. See beyond my smile. I'm in pain. I'm trying to figure the shit out. I don't understand God. What? I am stuck. Yeah. I am stuck. And I'm in that moment. I remember I'm sli I remember one time I'm when I'm gonna move back to my parents' house. I'm I'm slaying because I remember uh, my mom my mom and dad had it downsized. And then my sisters, they've gone to you, but they, everybody was summertime, everybody's come back home. So we're all in that. So there's two bedrooms, my sister and my sister sitting in the bed. They never expecting person to come back. Now we have to buy an air bed. I'm laying on an air bed. There's three of us in one room. We're growing. You women. are now an inconvenience. I'm an inconvenience. <laughs> You're not, but you felt like one. Come on now. No, I'm saying it's you true. You had graduated to being married. Now you're coming back. Hello? Now I'm sleeping on airbed. Huh? Single airbed, huh? Charlie? I'm slaying on there. And every, during the day, I'm trying, I'm, I'm the big sis. I know what I'm going through, but because I'm, I'm, I'm I know as my sister can say this, I've never been the type of person to sort of like be, like I don't get emotional. I don't yeah. really cry. I don't show. Yeah. I feel like I always have to be strong for people. Like yeah. I'm the go-to. Come to me. Cry to me. Yeah, Let yeah. me help you fix your problems. But when I it comes to my problems, to cry to. Uh, next time we'll fix yeah. it. So now I'm facing this bigger problem, and I'm like, how do I maneuver this season and still be their example? Right. Yeah. At night, my sister, this is, this, is what, this is what, this broke me. One time my sister, now I'm, I'm held, my sister said, okay, this is now doing better. She came to me. She goes, I, 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 I used to hear you every night when you were crying. And I would stay up. And you thought they were sleeping? I thought they were sleeping. Mate, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. That's when I realized yeah. that I, I can't not tell them I can't only not show them of the good. Yeah. When I'm happy, when I am okay. They need to see the Percy. Yeah. When she is in the dark place. Yeah. And and then see me come out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's when that's when our bond began to like the bond you can you see oh, the yeah. face sometimes. Oh, yeah. We are so oh, yeah. close. Because they had to see and they and I get to come to a place where I was like, I need help. Help me. At least you knew that you wanted help. That was after how many months, Charlie? Yeah. I was there like, ah. Oh. You didn't need you, you didn't know how to get help whilst you were still in the marriage. Even after the marriage. I don't know how to get I didn't even ask I wish you mean ask for help. Do you know what? To the point that even if I was parking a car, I have no money. I would, I would not know how to ask somebody yeah. to help me. That's how yeah. much I didn't know how to ask for help. Yeah. But my sister started to give. They would just give. Yeah. Because at the time, I, I, I wasn't working for a long time. Because I'd come back, re fix, fix my life. I, didn't, I couldn't work. And it was just a lot. My sisters would be whatever two bobs they have. Oh, Percy. Yeah. My mom. Yeah. My dad. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. They I'm fine. They, they could see it. I'm fine. They could see but it. But this is what I was saying. The hype of the wedding and the preparation of the marriage, yeah. Weddings are amazing and I keep like, business. Yes, I <laughs> come to her for, for the wedding planning. But at the same time as we hype them for the wedding, let's make sure we give them the reliability of the marriage. Of course, this is why I, uh, I look, if I, if I had done premarital counseling with him, mm -hmm. we would have gotten, I, I would have understood more about his view of marriage. Yeah. And he would have understood from my point of view what I view marriage as mm -hmm. and would have come in the middle. Mm -hmm. For him, he is he sees himself as a breadwinner and he has to be that so he cannot have a wife that's going to work he has he 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 would work hard mm -hmm. I, that i give him mm -hmm. but for me i was it, it was just me i like working mm -hmm. i like going to work i like doing things i like to use my i like being a business woman yeah, yeah, that's yeah, me yeah, yeah and i don't take that away from him mm -hmm. That's what he views marriage as. Mm -hmm. If I if I had known, probably would not have gotten married because I would have told him from the word go, no, I would want to be. So when it comes to premarital counseling, I know you've spoken about it um, within the last episode and you're speaking about it again today. Yeah. So I want to really know why you're so keen and you're so, you know, you're 
like you really feel like you need it yeah. for the premature counseling yeah. because when it comes to the church i believe that we get the counselors and they're there mm -hmm. but they're filtered mm -hmm. they are they don't really get to the nitty-gritty yeah. stuff that yeah. we talk about and i see there's so many other problems that are rising in marriages that should have been addressed Before. when they were doing the counseling because yeah. they did the counseling yeah. but so when you talk about can you can you just give me an insight because i feel like I need to understand your point of view now on okay. this. So for me, it's when you do this premarital counselling, yeah, together with your partner. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's because you want to get married. Um, they will help you mm -hmm. to see, to help each other, okay. to talk mm -hmm. about the things that you cannot talk when it's just the two of okay. you. Okay. Okay. So there's some there's some instances where let's say you you're talking to to to, to your partner about finances or whatever, it gets heated up. And you don't you don't even finish that conversation mm -hmm. what have you achieved from that conversation mm -hmm. nothing what what have you what, what was the conclusion no conclusion at all mm -hmm. you just brushed it under the carpet because you're not getting angry okay or somebody doesn't, doesn't want to talk about it yeah so imagine you go for 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 premarital counseling yeah this person will help you to talk together okay yeah and they'll help you yourself to actually bring out what you think mm -hmm. marriage is mm -hmm. and what you envision your husband mm -hmm. to be and i also think it should also work on the limiting beliefs that we have because yeah. i feel like sometimes when it comes to marriage and when it comes to relationships we have this ideology already set in our minds and how we, it should be done because yeah. that comes from of course tradition one comes from the people that yeah. that raised us yeah. and it comes from the church that we go to maybe you don't go to church whatever is in your circle how they show you marriage or relationship or yeah. love to be that becomes your ideology and sometimes social media is what plays part in that and sometimes we create this limiting beliefs when it comes to love like for example you were saying i was told that I must sort of like full mold on myself. mold myself to fit into him. Yes. So whatever he says, I do whatever yes. he wants, I give. Yeah. But sometimes that's not what right. What it's I it's want. not because there's something that you are now not, you're not allowed to be and to flourish within your, your, you, you know, being a woman. Yeah. And I always say when you get married, it's great that you become one, but yeah. you're still individual. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do not forget Repeat that. that. It's true. You become one, but yet you're still individuals. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, is that I am still perseverance. I still have a life yeah. that I've been building. I yeah. still have a carrot. And then I get it. We, 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 when you marry, you sort of like grow together, together. and become. And now yeah. you, are, you are like in sync. And you are just. You are just. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm still an individual. Yeah. So it's, it's about also as much as he's my husband. I want to cater to my man. Trust oh, me. Yeah. I want to cater to my oh, man yeah. so bad. I want to yeah. make sure that he is the king that he is. Yeah. I want to show him off and, 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 and risk. Let me cater to you. Beyonce time. You know <laughs> I want to give that to my man. Because he, he, yeah. will be, he will, whoever you are, you will be deserving of this. <laughs> <laughs> whoever he is, he will be deserving of yeah. this. But at the same time, he should also see me in the marriage. Do not blindly saying, oh, because you're my wife now, that's it, you do it. No, see me, love me as well. Yeah. And, and also cater to me as your woman. Yeah. Because now we're reciprocating that yeah. love. Yeah. And imagine, so imagine at counseling, he says stuff like that. Mm. He then tells you, mm. my wife has to be like this. I envision mm. my wife being like this. I envision my wife doing this and I'll be doing this. This is how I view marriage. Mm -hmm. So now you know. And now, obviously, now that you know, you're going to adjust. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. This is what I like. Can we talk about it? Mm -hmm. Can we adjust? Mm -hmm. Can we meet in the middle? Mm -hmm. Than for you to try and meet in the middle when you're in the marriage. Like what I try to do. And you know what? Let's say, let me say this. Let me say this real quick. The things you do not deal with before the marriage they will multiply. show up They'll in the multiply. marriage. There is no way you can. And if you have issues as a woman or as a man and you're about to get into marriage, let me know. Let her know. Why am I saying this? If like right now, I know. And I'm very open about this because of what happened in my, in, my, in my previous marriage and then the divorce, the money. I'm still working on my career school. I'm, I'm literally, and I'm very, yeah. I'm, I'm very honest with that. Like I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. Yeah. And my, building my finances up and, and getting back my savings. Because yeah. of course I had to spend a lot time. of money. Yeah. From, and, I'm, and I'm doing that. I'm yeah. actually working on it. But this is something that you can easily hide. Yeah. And you'll be like, 
I'm not going to tell him until until this stage. No. You're doing him a disjustice. Tell him from now. Yeah. So he can know, okay, this is where we are. How do we get there? Because sometimes that could be a deal breaker for him. Oh, yeah. Now you're not telling him. Even with men, if you are like, you are into, you are a womanizer, tell her. Yeah. Let her know. Like, listen, I like. Let her fly away. <laughs> Let her know so she can decide, do I stay or do I? Don't surprise it. No, Ten, but, five years into a marriage. And no, you do. Percy, but okay, okay. Let's talk. That's what the people need to be very honest about who they are to, to, their, to yes, their partner. But you you know what they say in our language? Women sing Ah, stop lying. Mm -mm. A man who does not lie will, will never marry. <laughs> Do not lie to me. <laughs> Where does Sir? this then fit in? You see, I love how he's laughing. <laughs> our, we have our, our cameraman who is a male. <laughs> and is there laughing I, I wish he could comment on this i can see him itching <laughs> do you know what it is for me I'm, I'm coming from a place of like we need to have more honest relationships yeah and and i, I get it the people would never truly always be honest and that's, that's unfortunate but we need to have more honest relationships yeah. because we're we're having marriages that are lasting up to at least five years and they're out uh, look at our generation our generation our especially we're not lasting long and our love you know what i love when i see couples that are lasting and they're showing off i'm like yes please oh, show yeah. us because oh, yeah. we need to see more oh, of yeah. those so we can see actually it is possible oh yeah because right now what we're seeing ah we're divorced so guys so what happened was um it and it happens and, and it's it like happens. but that's now becoming a trend yeah. so is divorce becoming the thing because another thing i was saying i know what i do i know i went through a divorce but is it now becoming a thing of oh it's not working it's not working for me it doesn't make sense no more. I want out. No, 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 no. That's what. That's where I feel it's it sh going. It shouldn't be like that. No, but that's where it's going. It's because more about. For me, it was. I, I just didn't wake up and say to him, "We're not working, so I'm out." Mm -hmm. No, we went through counselling. Mm -hmm. We went through tetes and mm -hmm. stuff. We were set down so many times. times yeah, I tried mm -hmm. to make it work. Mm -hmm. He tried. Okay. To make it work, but it did not work. Okay. It just did not work. Mm -hmm. so we had to part words but it, it wasn't just like ah because we're not you know because okay. we've just gotten angry and when, when we, if, if this is another issue anyway if we then talk about domestic violence or whatever for, for me when it first happened mm -hmm. i should have left the first time yeah i get that and i would tell whoever is in, in a dv um relationship that is a whenever it happens even the slightest or mm -hmm. anything leave mm -hmm. i should have left the mm -hmm. first time mm -hmm. But I didn't. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. Because probably I thought he's changed. Because obviously he would ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He would bring all his family, my family, church, and everything else to ask for forgiveness. And there is me thinking, oh, I cannot embarrass myself and say no. I have to go back. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go back. Mm -hmm. It happens again. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. same process. It was now a process. Up until I thought, no, this is not it. Yeah. It has to end mm -hmm. because now I was now thinking because I was pregnant with my little girl and then that's when the last incident happened I thought to myself I could have died yeah this is my cue my cue was the first time mm -hmm. but I don't know why I thought this now the the, the, the latest incident that happened mm -hmm. I don't know why I thought it was my cue I could have died mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah so for me it's yes you will try to make it work try to make it work I as much as you can mm -hmm. but if it's if it's DV, girl, move. Man, move. Honestly, because they don't change. And that's a fact. Um, but if it's anything else, try and find counseling. Like try what? Like what? Finances. Okay. Because <laughs> you know where I was going with that one. I was like, like what? So you can work it out. <laughs> Sex. You can talk about it and yes. see what's not working and what what what. Could even what get, you do you know what? You can you know even what I mean? get a sex coach that can talk to you through about. Because I think sometimes with sex, and this is something that but needs to be spoken do about. Talk about it. We need to sp be spoken about, especially with the, like, oh, church is a hospital, man. It is a hospital for the sick. Yeah. We are coming to say we need help here and here. Like, it is not for this. Like, you, yes, God came to make us, you know, he came for the sinners. Mm -hmm. And we are learning life. And mm -hmm. sometimes when you, when you have to put up this persona that I am already there, I am this perfect Christian, you are closing the doors to those that need help. And there are couples that are suffering in their bedroom. They are sleeping in two different rooms. Oh, yeah. They oh, are yeah. not satisfied. Yeah. yeah. They don't even know yeah. what an orgasm is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want them to it. say, hey, this is what marriage is, my friend. Yeah. No. So how do they talk, how do they mm -mm. 
talk about these things. In this is what I'm saying. Sometimes with, when it comes to the, sex, the topic of sex, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because I, I know people are going through this, but they won't talk about it because it's a taboo topic, you know? It's a, this is 2021. Talk, let's talk it's about still something a taboo. else. Boo. And I think for me, when it comes to the issue of sex, I think, especially with men and women, you need to learn your partner's body one. And it's about communicating. No, I don't like that. Yes, I do like that. No, let's try this. It's a partnership, right? You yeah. have to be open yeah. to talk about it. Yeah. Like the episode of talking we were watching yesterday. Yeah. Talk about it openly as a couple. Yeah. And if you feel like, okay, we don't know how, we, we need help. There are sex coaches out there that you can actually have a conversation but with. But I'm not open to talk about sex to and somebody I know, else. Me even saying this, I might even get backlash. Like, how dare you tell people to go to a sex coach? Because they're, they're, there's dryness in the bedroom. <laughs> It's a desert. <laughs> How do you know that there's dryness? You know, you know these these African men of ours. Oh. Have you had any other experience somewhere for you to come back and tell me that this is dry? Do you know what? That's not. Do you know this is a disclaimer. <laughs> the couple, you're going. To, if you want the long lasting marriage that's very satisfying, sex is part of it. It's not end or be all. Don't get me wrong, but it's part of the whole. Um, you know, the marriage is part of the being together and i think it's important to discuss that with your partner and even when i get married next time wherever you are come find me um <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a topic we'll talk about because yes. in the day it is important to me because i want this to last i want my next marriage to be my last marriage oh yeah i've already been divorced we're not doing i'm not, I'm not doing it again no 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 receive your marriage pussy. receive your marriage in <laughs> jesus name <laughs> You too. Amen. I take How it. How you just give it, not take it. <laughs> I take, take it. it. <laughs> but I'm saying we need to now normalize yeah. having certain conversations. Yeah. Like I've started to have sex, sex talks with my mother. Like I would ask a question with my African Zimbabwean Christian tongue speaking mother, and we don't, it's not like in depth. Like you know, we don't, we're, not, we're still at a level, but we talk. Because why we've developed this um, this um, relationship where I want to have my I want to when my mother or myself whoever goes to heaven first I don't want to regret saying, not having sex no not having um saying <laughs> Charlie you need to behave <laughs> let me talk to the audience because she 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 she's had a little bit too much to say. <laughs> I'm saying, I want to make sure that I've had, created that relationship with my mother. I don't want to, you know, I wish I would have talked to my mother about sex yeah. or about marriage or about finance. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm developing that. We're talking yeah. about it. I'm asking questions. Which is really good. Because I can't have a sex talk with my No, you know, when I say sex, it's not in, in the sense of like, it, it, I can't explicit. even imagine mom it's thinking not about even, having sex. It's Come not even on. explicit. It's if, even if I was dating, I remember like my, my past dating, and my mom was like, were well, you having sex? I was like, yes, I was. She was like, God, look, it's because it ended. She's like, God, if you had waited, I was like, I know I should have, but mom, you know what? You know, but we had a conversation. Yeah. She knows, you yeah. know, yeah. and it, it's nice. It's yeah. nice. Even if I'm in the wrong, it's nice because I know I can run to it. And oh, one yes. thing I realized, I read a post about even God. He said, God is a God, right? That will even take you out of the mess you created. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. So of sometimes course. we're shaming people and they're now stuck in that moment. They're not coming out because we're shaming them because we're saying, oh, you did so bad. That's the place that you're supposed to stay in. But right. God can bring you out from right. that. So even if it's, if, if we need to talk about it. Yeah. Normalize talking about certain things because I feel like people are just suffering in silent and they will smile and they'll post on social media and will like their pictures. Sometimes even jealous their pictures mm -hmm. because I think you look like you're happy, but they're suffering and they have nobody to talk to and they're in marriages that they are unhappy. And they've been envying you a single woman like, oh my God, you look like you're yeah. having fun. That's why I was saying those that are in want to come out. Yeah. Those that are out want to go back in. So that means there's a lot of single people in marriages exactly wow because you're not communicating wow. so communication is key in wow. marriage every relationship every marriage it's key mm -hmm. you have to understand each other <laughs> and learn to adjust Do you know i think this one is a part two we can't finish this whole conversation because Charlie, this one is a part two because the other things i want to dive in when it comes to the marriage now like after the wedding building the house becoming your family unit because when you think about it when you come you're coming from your family he's coming from his family yeah. they've been doing things their way that he learned you've yeah. been doing the your way that you learned now you're the two, two of you people. i try to figure out now how do we build our household you should not build it on what he knows you should build it on you then the clash 
Premarital counseling. Then the clash. Now you see why I keep mentioning premarital counseling. Yeah. Do you see why now? I see. Because all this then comes out. Whatever you would lying to each other, telling each other this is what I want or whatever, it comes out when you go for these counseling. Do sessions. you know what we need to do? We need to find counselors, Christian, because of course we're still very yes. faith based, yes. but that are real and authentic yes. and have a talk with them yes. and really understand how do they do what they do. So yes. that if it is that we have young couples that are looking to marry, we know where to send them, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you go to pasta who doesn't even sleep in the same house with his, in the same room with his wife and he's telling you about, sir, take several seats. I think in my next wedding package, I will include... You pre should. Premarital counseling. The right ones. How about that? <laughs> And on that note, thank you so much for joining us. See you next week. Sorry.